Hi, I'm Allie Merriam. It's Wednesday, March 7th, and here are the headlines hottest on Pop Sugar right now. Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, visited the town of Grimsby, England yesterday. And while much has been made of her charming the locals, there was one late-breaking story that involved a possible slip-up about her pregnancy and whether or not she's having a boy or a girl. We can see Kate's possible slip of the tongue in this video from Sky News. <laughs> It was a bit hard to hear, but after accepting a stuffed animal from a fan, Kate said, Thank you, I'll take that for my d-. And while she didn't finish whatever word she was going to say that starts with the D, dog or daughter, she did admit that she and William know the sex of their baby, but they aren't telling. And the Oscars may have come and gone, but there is one more award show on the horizon, the MTV Movie Awards. The nominations were just announced with Django Unchained and Ted leading the pack with seven nominations each. And after years of the Twilight series dominating the MTV Movie Awards, the final film in the series earned just one nomination for Taylor Lautner in the category of Best Shirtless Performance. Jennifer Lawrence may be able to add to her Oscars gold since she's nominated in five categories. The show airs April 14th with host Rebel Wilson, who recently shot some much-anticipated promos with Channing Tatum. Amy Poehler and Tina Fey made jokes about Taylor Swift's love life at the Golden Globes that did not go down well with the singer. Taylor hit back at the comedic duo in the new Vanity Fair by referencing a quote that says there is a special place in hell for women who don't help women. And after Amy responded with the quip, oh, I agree I'm going to hell, but mostly for other reasons, mostly boring tax stuff, Tina weighed in at last night's premiere of Admission in New York City. Tina told Entertainment Tonight, I did not see that one coming. It was a joke. It was a lighthearted joke. Kate Moss stole the Louis Vuitton show during Paris Fashion Week this morning. The supermodel took to the runway wearing one of her pal Marc Jacobs designs on the, at the Paris Fashion Week event that included Naomi Watts, Jessica Chastain, Elizabeth Olsen, and Kate's husband Jamie Hintz and her daughter Lila were also there. It wasn't Kate's only racy outfit of the week. She also wore a sheer Saint Laurent jumpsuit, which was fresh off the runway, to a party celebrating the second issue of CR Fashion Book last night. And today's top story takes us from France to somewhere slightly warmer, Mexico. Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore are together on a girls only getaway to Mexico, which was reportedly part of a bikini boot camp vacation. With Cameron donning a mismatched bikini and Drew in a one piece, the girls went for a dip in the water with another friend. Cameron and Drew go way back. They grew close after starring in 2000's Charlie's Angels film. This isn't the only glimpse of Cameron's physique that we have seen lately. She also posed topless on the most recent cover of Interview Russia. Cameron and Drew are very close friends, and in a January interview with Oprah Winfrey, Drew spoke about their special connection and even said that Cameron was the MVP at her 2012 wedding to Will Copelman. Cameron, didn't Cameron do a poem? Oh, yeah, she read an E.E. E. Cummings poem. She was MVP that day. She really was. Yeah, she was, the, like, sh that's her. She was, you know, making sure all the dresses were just so and that everything was there. And she was with me when I signed the ketubah, yeah. crying. Like, she's MVP. MVP yeah. of the wedding. The getaway is a belated birthday treat for Drew. She turned 38 at the end of February. It also comes during a break from work for both ladies. Cameron has The Counselor and Gambit out this year and will start making Agent Century 21 with Benicio Del Toro soon, too. And Drew is reportedly lining up a new project with her 51st Dates and the Wedding Singer co-star Adam Sandler. I'm Allie Merriam. Thanks for watching.